about to use a new set of refrigerant couplings for 134 and this was something I demoed several months ago that I found out since Yellow Jacket stopped making quality parts and they started failing really fast and other viewers and subscribers out there have said the exact same thing so I went on a search for good aftermarket and they were all failing until I came across this pair this was the first company that lasted longer than the new yellow jacket. So what do we do? You see that down in there? Here's Nylog. I'm gonna, um, I'm doing this one hand that I should be using two hands and angling this. But you're gonna see how I'm putting this around on the sides and I wish it was a little warmer so this could be a little thinner. So I wanna put some lubricant, ah, damn it. That is nice, thick and heavy but you see, you don't see the O-ring. So let me, uh, I'm gonna back this off. You see it's closed right now. So I need to use my other hand as holding the phone and off the screen, I'm backing it off, opening up the fitting or actually closing is a better thing. Now you see the O-ring there. Now, if this was warmer, warmer, it would be a little bit more runnier. And what I'm trying to do there is get that lubricant over that green O-ring down inside there. Another place you want to do is up in the threads. Another place, there's a shaft and it has an O-ring that goes through that comes down to that pintle in the center. You see that pintle in the center? Well, it has to go through a seal that comes up through the body. Eventually, they all leak eventually, usually. So what I like to do is I peel off the sticker. I put just one little dab, a little drop under that nut that's under there, the screw, put the sticker back on and under vacuum you can never draw through nylog nylog stops vacuum leaks if you have it all around the threads you can't leak up and pull vacuum up through the threads through the sh center shaft down and uh, give you a vacuum leak so that's what i'm doing here and put a little bit more we'll go right there just a little on the outside you see how that goes on the outside not on the inside on the outside because that's where the o-ring goes and then, where's that guy? I'm just gonna show you a little on the corner. I wanna go 360 degrees. And you see how I did right there? I went on the threads right there. You could see that. Now vacuum cannot, if that goes 360 degrees all the way around, vacuum cannot be pulled up through the center shaft or up through there under that sticker in the future when it does start to fail those are all potential failure points see you guys later